Polite Inquiries, Jared Kimber, Andrew, Fidel, Fernando, Mick Hunt's office. Naman Jane says, the question everyone is asking, should England have declared before Balance got his hundred? Go. Don't even worry that I dropped my phone. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a bit of a risk. Yeah, it would have been an aggressive move. It would have been something that probably Alistair Cook or Angelo Matthews, neither of them would do that. It, it, the match probably would have been a stalemate. But it is odd. I, I saw Mark Nicholson in the toilets, end of, I don't want you to think weirdly about that statement, but he did say that it, it does help England to get a bit of confidence and balance. Vidit Desai says, shall we start to doubt Cook's calibre as a batsman? Yeah, I mean, his record so bad. And hasn't he only had like three or four good series? Very true. Uh, but when he has so a good series, it's it's uh, yeah, it's an a, excellent series. It's a yeah. series that you know you, you tell your grandparents about. Remember, remember when I saw that guy bat for a very long time? He didn't sweat and he was kind of boring. That sort of thing. Short pitch says, "Is this a series when we start to talk about Jordan being the next Freddie, who is the next Beefy? Has Broad been displaced?" He yeah. looks pretty when he hits the shot, doesn't he? Yeah, the, the, some couple of the co cover drives off uh, Rangan and Herath were quite sumptuous. Uh, <laughs> wow, I love the way you said that. Yeah, uh, I, I guess so. I guess it's Sure, I mean, he is. Yes. He's okay. probably better than yeah. both of them already. That's what we're saying, yeah. officially. Intern says, is England badly missing Swan? Well, they're missing the great Swan, the Swan of really good form and, you know, who helps you up your team. They're probably not missing the Swan who's bowling in Australia. But, I mean, Swan's retired, right? Are England missing Jim Laker? They are missing Jim Laker. Are they missing Tony Locke? No, not as much. Okay. <laughs> Dutch Bird Kate says, if, if the fear of losing is greater than the hunger to win, what does that say about the mindset of the England dressing room? I mean, You're pro-negativity. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm really not. But I mean, it means that they're human, right? I mean, after having, after having that kind of winter, and what do you expect Alistair Cook to do? I mean, to declare on 300 and, you know, set an umbrella field first over? Michael Holding said that England should have declared on 400. Everyone wants, and that was in the first innings, I should say, everyone wants them to declare quicker and finish things off, whatever. Sometimes I feel like we're picking in England, but then I don't care. Angelo says, surely Sri Lanka can afford Chandamal ahead of Prasanna given the difference in stats. You know, personally I would like to see Prasanna keep his place just because this bowling attack needs the best keeper possible to ha hold every possible chance. And Prasanna is miles ahead of any other keeper in Sri Lanka. Yeah. Uh, and I've always thought he was a great... <laughs> I've always thought that Prasanna was a great wicket keeper, but he's not keeping great, so he, that, he, he's got to be a problem. Yeah, but I mean, one bad test behind the stumps, especially at one of the yeah, that's it. One. And you go. You go. You go. <laughs> can I take a photo and tweet it? Or do yeah, yeah, no, you can do that. <laughs> Just shut up. Lime Bay Robin says, is Robson the answer as test opener? I've seen him bat four times. Each time he made less than 25. One of us must be unlucky. My grandfather saw Bradman once. He made a duck. He was obviously rubbish. Um, what do you think of Robson? But, uh, I saw him made a hun make a hundred at the Prima Dasa in March. And he looked, he looked pretty good. I mean, uh, he played spin really well. You can't judge a debutant on his debut. My, if, 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 <laughs> you can't. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, I, I thought it was interesting the way they re I know everyone bowls just outside our stump and in the channel and etc. But they really focused in on that. Really. My hand looks weird. Look at that. <laughs> really. It's like Bella Lugosi. Henry Penfold says, um, as Harath is having so much joy this afternoon, will mowing part-time douchers destroy Sri Lanka? Well, we have to see one before we know if it's yeah. actually going to do it. Yeah, yeah. Mo's douche are like a, like a ghost at this point to me. I've never seen one, yeah. <laughs> Nicholas Charlin says, uh, who would win between Yorkshire and England if England weren't allowed to pick Yorkshire players? I won't ask you this. <laughs> Yorkshire? Always Yorkshire. Rory Paul says, is there anyone in the world who would suit a mowing um, Ali Beard better than Nigel Farage? No, no. English Nick says, should Pradeep get fined for smashing the stumps like Chris Broad from the olden days? Yes, so should Inzamamal Hux lumbering gate. What was funnier, quickly? Inzamam? Inzamam, easy. I don't know, I don't know. Uh, the Cricket Geek says, is Pradeep fully on top of his stumps the funniest thing that, uh, that has happened in cricket since Stuart Broad's sight screen duck? And I would say that is funnier because Pradeep is just a sort of a no one with a great hairstyle and everyone's backing him and Stuart Broad, no one backs him.
Polite inquiries. George Dobell, Jared Kimber, Kia Oval. Is Alistair Cook the worst English captain in the history of mankind? 